there's a new addition to search. Take a look. Meet my connection, Jeff Young. He's a LinkedIn guru in the US. In fact, that's his brand because that's what people call him. Now, you'll notice here he's got over 40,000 followers and over 500 connections. Now, I can't click into either of these to see who they are. But LinkedIn have added a new feature in search. And what, what it allows me to do is search for followers of a creator um, that meets some criteria. So what do I mean by creator? So a creator is this thing called creator mode. And I know that Jeff's got it turned on he, because here he's got talks about, he's got some hashtags that um, frame what his content's about. Um, creator mode um, rearranges your profile. It puts a focus on content first. So, so the um, feature section activity are at the top act about is moved further down below. It gives you access to LinkedIn Live and a feature called newsletters. Um, and the other thing it does, importantly, is the button here, when you're not connected to someone who's got creator mode on, it will say follow first, not connect. So it's really um, an ungated way to attract people to your profile to follow you because you don't have to do anything. So people can follow you, that you, they don't have to wait for you, for you to accept their connection request. So back to the search feature. So if I click into search and I'm going to, I'm not going to look for Jeff Young actually, I'm just going to do a blank canvas search just to bring up the default fit, um, features here. So we've got all the filters, so we're going to do a people search. And then I'm going to go to all filters to show you. And down here, followers of creator, so let's type in Jeff Young and we'll find him in the list. So it's going to bring up anybody who's got creator mode turned on that I've got access to. And I can put some criteria in. I could type, you know, a, a particular role in here or a location or an industry. So let's just go search. We're doing a blank search here and it's given me 29,000 results. But you notice he had over 40,000 followers. Now with LinkedIn, you've got access to three degrees away from you. So what that tells me is probably the difference between the 40,000 and 29,000 is that some of those people are going to be outside of my network, as in more than three degrees away from me, which I don't have access to. So that's still a large chunk of people I could find if if Jeff was followed by the right people. So doing a blank canvas search like this is, is quite pointless, really, because it's a random mishmash of people. So this is where you want to type in. So if I'm looking for a business development manager, and I, let's go back to people search, and let's click all filters, and maybe I'm looking for a location. like Now, Australia, let's go back to add creator. We'll try Jeff Young, even though he is actually based in the US. <laughs> so let's see. I'm not sure if this is going to play out um, the way I want it to. Um, yes, yes, it does. So we've got 82 people who are business development managers in Australia or have those words in their profile anyway, who follow Jeff Young. So because Jeff's a LinkedIn expert, I might then think, well, maybe they're good connections for me based on what I do. So I could then follow or connect with them. So connecting here sends a connection request. Follow is the button that's often on first when people have creator mode turned on. So this, this person here I can see talks about, that tells me they've got creator mode turned on. Now, if I did want to connect to them because connection is a two-way conversation, um, it means I can invite them to events, I can interact with them, I'm subscribed to them, they're subscribed to me if, once they accept my connection request. Um, what I need to do in this case is go to the person's profile. I'll do it now to show you exactly what to do. Go to more, go to connect. So it's always there, but it's hidden. So follows first, connects there. So there you go. A bit about this brand new feature and how you could use it. But of course, don't abuse it. Don't connect to someone's followers just for the sake of it. Do it with purpose and learn how to use LinkedIn search so you're being really strategic about who you connect to. Thanks for watching and let me know how you will use this feature.